Hello there, I'm the Star Wars guy, and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes GAC! You know what's up. It's time for some Grand Arena Championships. Our boy, Raphael, is here. And I've taken a look at what he's laid down, and I have some thoughts on how to get by it. It's not going to be easy, and uh, my strategy is, is very dependent on his back territory, not hiding anything super powerful in it. But let's talk about defenses first. You know, you know what I do. Don't set the, the biggest defenses, because I don't have the deepest roster. I can't. Some of you guys have been like, put Grievous on defense. Well, dude, that's my number one offensive team. If I sacrifice that, uh, I'm losing out on my number one offensive team that can clear almost anything that comes at it. Almost. Now, you're thinking like, yeah, but you get a hold. Well, the way Grand Arena works is you're more rewarded for clearing offense, for clearing territories, than you are for getting a defensive hold. So, what I, my strategy is I place a weaker defense, and they can clear it, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes they either forget, or, uh, you know, whatever, but lately I've been hiding my gas in the back corner there, Relic 7, he's gonna be a little annoying to get through. The clones are a joke, uh, still working on them, obviously, but he himself puts up a hell of a fight, and if you know anything about how he works, he, he basically covers for those clones, so you have to get through him before you can get to them. So, anyway, that's the plan, that's where we're at. Let's dive in, we're gonna clear this uh, southern territory first, if you will. And they have a, or he has a CLS team and a Padme team. So, turn that down a little bit. My plan is to use my, uh, basically mirror Padme. So my Padme versus his Padme. And for his CLS, I'm gonna use my Revan team. So, let's go Padme. Make sure I click the right stuff. So Padme first, we'll use our Padme. Now our Padme team is slightly stronger, but his actual Padme, the character, is a little stronger than ours, and his Anakin is a little stronger than ours, but um, uh, our Kenobi is much stronger than his, and our C-3PO is stronger than his, and our Ahsoka is actually in there. He's using R2-D2. Let's see what we can do here. And I'd really like to get... We're actually faster than him, though. I'd really like to try to get that, that Padme out of there as fast as I can. Of course, that's not going to be easy with Kenobi taunting. I'm going to actually try to get Kenobi down. There's a big hit from Ahsoka. There goes that protection. When they get courage, it's going to start getting nasty. Come on. But mirror team means we're getting courage, too. I wish I could use those those stacks of courage that C-3PO gets, which is a, which is a joke. All right, he's down. Come on. Give me something here. Only basic, pretty much. He's down. All right, that sucks a lot. Yeah, getting through Kenobi. Tough. We got some stacks, though. If I can get the Padme down, I might be able to send someone else in there and make something happen. Man, she just gets all that protection regen. Come on, get her down. Dang, the expose is not good. We're screwed. What a horrible way to start this thing. We had a chance. I'm not sure that we do now. Okay. And one big problem is this Revan team he has is particularly strong. So the only thing I can have that can really beat that is my uh, Grievous, Grievous droids. So let's think here. She's hurt. Okay. All right, well, let's do what we can. We know we can beat CLS with our uh, Revan squad, hopefully. Our Revan squad's not the best, but... We can probably make something happen here. All right, spread those buffs around. Let's see if we can't do some damage here. They got Chewie in there. Let's see if we can get Baze out of here. Baze is down. Chirrut's a big healer, but Han's gonna be much more of a problem. Now that Chewie's guarding him though, so maybe we'll get Chewie down first. Hello. 
Okay. I'd like to get that heal going up on... Jolie as soon as I can. Now, it's also possible that uh, our, our opponent doesn't actually fight back. So I've had that happen before, where you think, you know, oh, I lost, there's no way I did well on that or whatever, and then he doesn't actually fight, and you end up winning. All right, we brought back Yoda. Han's hurting. Let's see if we can't get him here quickly. Come on, good dodge. Nice, you're out. All right, CLS. Take you out. Now it's just cheer it. No, we hit him with a counterattack before we could really do much. All right, 56 points. We'll take that. Okay, let's uh, put Padme on pause. We'll go over here. We're going to attempt this uh, team comp right here with our droids. We'll see what happens. Of course, we got to get Jolie out first. I have done this exact match more times than I can count. I mean, Grievous versus Revan, I've probably played that exact match more than any other match in this game. Um, and it depends on a lot of factors. Sometimes I win, sometimes I don't. They're a quick team, that's for sure. This one is. And we're going to have to kill Jolie twice. Now, it's much, much harder when they have a GK or something in there. Um, since they don't, this is going to be a little bit easier. We'll probably win. We may not get the, the most... Uh, the most banners, but should not have a problem taking this crew down. We did lose Magna Guard. That's pretty standard. He taunts a lot, and he's not the strongest on my squad, at least. So, I mean, as long as Grievous stays alive, we're, we're probably going to beat him. We get Jolie down right here, and then we just go to town. Let's keep healing Grievous. Do that again. Love the sound effects. They are they are really nice. Okay, double mark. That's nice. Mow down. Heal Grievous again. I'm just gonna continually heal him with B uh, B1. Revan's hurting. We, we're working on him. This is it right here. Yes, it is. Not worried about Hermit Yoda because he is dead when everyone else is dead. Basila, heal Grievous. Give me one more hit with Grievous. Come on. She goes there he goes we won 54 not bad that was the toughest team that i think he has all right for bosk uh we're gonna try to put up some banners here uh by plowing through the north territory and then taking over his fleet because that's that's probably something we can do all right for bosk we got to hit him really hard with our boy han who shoots first right out of the gate I usually have the most success if i get rid of bosk as fast as possible hide everyone except the tank and just you got to stay on him because he will he will take you over. And once Bosk is gone, it's uh, it's pretty easy pickings, honestly. Django's down just on, on counterattacks and AoEs alone. Django is pretty squishy, uh, and obviously this Django's not the, the best Django you're going to see. Let's get a heal going. Keep him stunned. Keep him down. Come on, we got to get that. Han needs his uh, buffs here. There it is. Boom. Let's do this here. Smack you there. Keep him stunned. Here we go. Big hits. Boom, boom. He's gone. Now we can have some fun. Let's get Django out of there. We already worked on him. Let's do Cad next, or maybe Boba. I don't know. Well, let's do Boba. Let's put everyone under stealth except Baze. That didn't work. There we go. You're dead. Boba's hurting now. Let's burn him. Counterattacks alone took him. I will take that. Nice. Ooh, resisted. Get that heal going. Just make sure we stay at at least full health. We're not going to have full protection. Uh, CLS might. All those grenades are going off. Let's stay basic for now. 
Oh, there goes Han. Alright, 55. Well, is what it is. Alright, and then Geos, I'm just gonna mirror. So my Geos are better than his Geos. And this shouldn't be too terribly difficult. I'm gonna try to get Brute Alpha out, and then it's all pretty easy. However, he stays... Uh, that, that Brute likes to taunt. He's out. Sunfac. Almost out. Oh, nice little late hit there. System Expose is going. You're out. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Brute. Let's work on their Spy next. Come on, equalize that protection. Let's get it. Let's get going here. Oh, Spy's under stealth. That's to be expected. So we'll work on the other two. No worries. And finally... Big hit on Spy, and he's gone, and we get a nice 60 banners with Geos, as we usually do. Let's look at the fleet here. Geos under Thrawn. Shouldn't have a problem taking these out. Let's see what we can do. I usually... I've only lost fleet in Grand Arena, like, once or twice usually do okay on the fleet, because most people are not setting their strongest stuff on defense. Most people don't have two very strong fleets, myself included. So I'll set, you know, a weaker fleet on defense, save my main fleet for offense. I assume that's what most everyone else does. And usually we don't have a problem plowing our way through it. Let's get Houndstooth out here to start saving our Geos. Because he's going to taunt the whole time, pretty much. And he's very, very difficult to kill. Alright, who are they calling? Houndstooth as well. Perfect. We're gonna we're gonna go through him with uh, some we're gonna get some charge going and we're gonna go through him pretty quick. Especially once we get all those assists going. Come on. All those stacks of charge on that lead geo he has five. Let's get some buzz droids. Yes, we're basicing. Now, the ultimate ability on Malevolence is one of the best in the game. It basically just shuts down the enemy fleet. Now, we're not going to get to it. You're not going to get to see it today. It's, it's got like a seven turn cooldown or something, but... Uh, anyway, alright, cool. We got that done. Alright, now it's Padme. What can we do? What can we do? Let's see what we have left. Problem is we've burned everyone. This is what I'm dealing with. And it also depends really heavily on what he has back there, so... Um, I mean, I guess I guess we'll give it an attempt and see what happens. So unfortunately, our, our first order is not going to be the answer here, I don't think. So, uh, screw it. Let's try, the new, let's try the new team here and see what happens. I've never even used this team yet, so... Maybe we can fracture her. Now, they're going to come uh, turn meter loaded. They're going to probably blast right through us right ahead. So there's Watt, there's Treya, both garbage. Let's try the new move here from Vader. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make a dent in this team. We're going to throw all three teams we have at it and, and lose all three, so... This is kind of how it goes. We can fracture her, though. So now maybe we might have a chance. If we can get rid of Padme, we might have a chance with, you know, sending in Infus Nest or something. But we just don't have the team. Or the, the, the depth of roster to, to blast through a team of this caliber. So now, now where he was really smart on his defense... Was he placed two teams that I can't really counter, uh, or, or I have to use the same counter for each, and that's Padme and uh, Revan. So I use Grievous to counter both of those typically. So I mean, here we go. Let's have some fun with uh, with Nest here. See what happens. My Nest. The thing is, my Nest isn't isn't really strong enough as she needs to be. So other the rest of the team is probably going to get uh, blasted pretty quick here. But I don't know. We'll see. There goes Lando. Didn't expect much from him in the first place. There's a big hit from Nest. I'll take that. And stun. Hit counter. She's gaining that protection back. Maybe I can get him just focusing on L3 for a little bit. The problem with Padme is all of that protection regen she has... And then she goes to that move there, and I mean, it's it's over. Like, there's not much you can do there. 
Now we might we might be able to get lucky. We'll see. Especially yeah. Well, once Ness is gone, it's over. All right. Let's throw the first order at it, and then that's all we have. So, uh, you know, we did what we can. They're gonna get a hold here with this Padme team. Smart move on their part. Padme is a pretty hard counter for a First Order team, so this uh, obviously will not work. But it's all we have. So all we can do at this point is pray that uh, he either doesn't attack, which will be an instant win for us. He forgets or whatever. We are in the last couple hours here, and he has not attacked yet, so maybe that's part of a strategy. Or... Maybe uh, he forgot. Who knows? So, but anyway, I'm just put it on auto because we're not going to do this. And uh, so that's one thing. Now, or uh, we can hope that we get some sort of hold on him. Now, he's going to blast through our front walls pretty easily. We can hope to get a fleet hold and we can hope to get a gas hold in that back territory. However, if he gets to both those territories, he's probably already beaten us in points. So, we'll see. There's C3P over there with 16 stacks of courage that he can't do anything with. We'll just watch them eat our first order alive. Have a sip of drink. Padme teams, man. You see why I recommend them. They're tough. And this isn't even like a top top tier one. Like mine. Mine's not a top tier either. There's a pretty serious stack of courage from R2-D2 there. He had like 20. There we go. Well, there you go. That'll do our Grand Arena for us. Now, what did we end up with? Like 1100 or something? 1377. Okay, so there you go. We'll see. We'll see what happens, and I'll give you guys an update and let you know how this one finished and how this one ended up in the next uh, in the next video of GAC. So thank you guys so much for being here with me. Uh, despite how this went, this is actually really fun, and I enjoyed doing these videos. So please subscribe below for more Star Wars and Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes content every single day. I'll see you guys in the next video.